my soccer universe has been a long time that we talked about classic matches and now in this video we're gonna look at the period from 2009-10 to 13-14 so another um, five year period uh, as you can tell from my jersey the dominant team in that period although uh, only winning one trophy but clearly was Barcelona I mean they are came in as champions into this five-year peer period and always were seen as the gold standard and boy as we will see there were many great foes of Barcelona in there I actually think that as, as we will see it was a lot of um, Barcelona Arsenal at the beginning then it was also Barcelona Milan although this was kind of one-sided then it got to um, a little bit flair of Barcelona Chelsea and of course El Clasico in there as well also a little bit Barcelona PSG but that will also go in there so those you know Barcelona was kind of having its uh, battles I'm also missing another local rival from Madrid that will get to the end um, again I will do my best to not talk too much about the results just going through those five seasons and let's see uh, which games pop out I try to prepare a little bit this time um, but you know I'm doing this still mostly from memory not really from watching highlights I wish I would have all the time to do that but fortunately I don't let's start in the 9-10 season which uh, is not exactly one of my favorite seasons um, however in the group stage there's one game that I want to point out that is uh, Real Madrid against Milan that was probably one of the better performances um, of Milan in this entire period other than that we had interesting groups but yeah well, Barcelona Inter met in the group stage but it was a rather one-sided group uh, as it has, has been saying so let's go straight to the knockout phase uh, where probably the glamour matchup was Milan United but um, it was not that much of a mat matchup um, I'm picking out of the first round actually not too many maybe if the Bayern Munich Fiore Fiorentina could be interesting but um if I look at it, I think it's in the second round. I think probably the game of that entire tournament, one might argue with me, but I think the game of the entire tournament was the second leg between United and Bayern Munich. I remember this game. This was an excellent game to watch. Uh, there was also a French battle in there, uh, which in the qualifying stage is kind of unheard of. Um, also, I think Arsenal Barcelona in the quarterfinal uh, was pretty cool. Uh, the return leg also, though it was a bit more one-sided. And I would be not doing you a service if I wouldn't say that the semi-final between Inter and Barcelona uh, were two great matches. I would think that the first leg, although marred by the whole Icelandic volcano, uh, disaster that was a great tactical game so those are the ones I have not seen the final it's my two least favorite teams so I this is the one Champions League final that I did not watch live I saw the highlights later on let's go straight to the next season which is the 10-11 um, season of which I'm wearing the Barcelona jersey uh, hint 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 uh, and if we go, let's say in the group stage, there's one that sticks out that was Inter's um, home game against Spurs. Uh, at that time, Spurs were a nobody, but they had a certain Gareth Bale who announced himself on the world stage during that group stage. It was actually a very interesting group with Spurs, Inter, Twente and Werder. Uh, those were the times when Werder was still good. I see also Schalke being up there last year. The season previous was Stuttgart in there and now see where those teams are. Um, other than that, I th I was thinking about uh, putting Bayern, Bayern Roma in there, but it was only for one team really exciting in there. Again, Real Madrid and Milan met also in a group with Ajax, but <laughs> was not exactly... Uh, the great group so again we can go straight to the knockout stage I remember uh, the Milan Spurs matchups especially the return leg was not 
weren't many goals in there, but it was technically in, in interesting because uh, each team played in each other's weaknesses and still there weren't many goals scored. But it was not the games that uh, we have to talk about uh, here. I think the games were mostly with um, Italian teams and I'm looking here at uh, Bayern against Inter from uh, the round of 16. That was an amazing match, it has to be said. I am also looking at uh, Inter's home against again home game against Schalke. That's one that uh, you should watch, especially the first half. Uh, Schalke was amazing in that season. Um, and then, of course, Real Madrid Barcelona. This was part of a whole series where the two of them met four times within three weeks or something like that. Uh, once in the league, once in the cup final. Um, and then uh, twice in the Champions League semi-final, where it got so... I think that that was the peak of, of the rivalry where it couldn't recover anymore. This was uh, peak uh, Guardiola against Mourinho, with all the ugliness that comes with it. And on the back of a uh, 5-0 uh, in 2010 in the Camp Nou. So there was a whole lot going on during that. I think the game that is probably better to watch is the first leg uh, at the Bernabeu. Um, if you ask me, the second semi-final was not that great and I think the game of that season is the final. That is one of the two best performances in a final that I've ever seen by a single team. Uh, the final scoreline is not quite representative of the strength between those teams in there. Let's move a season further uh, to the 11-12 season. Boy, this was an interesting season. Uh, there was lots of stuff happening. Um, I'm scrolling again through here. Uh, the group stage, I'm not sure that there was anything really that exciting. Barcelona and Milan met, but you know, I I know this is this was the last time that we saw in this five year that we saw Milan in the Champions League, and I also gotta say that um, yeah, it, what I'm doing this video, I watched mostly Milan games uh, if I could. If I was still living in America for most of these, so yeah, but I have to say that the Barcelona Milan game, the first game, that was a great game. That was a great game. Watch that one. If you can. Uh, in the knockout phase, and I think here is almost all the Italian um, round of 16 games are worth watching. Watch the second leg between Inter and Marseille. I think that one is an interesting one. Uh, both Napoli Chelsea matchups uh, are very noteworthy. Uh, the game Napoli Chelsea was a pretty good one, and then the return leg. Uh, at Stamford Bridge also, where Chelsea switched actually coaches. That one uh, might definitely be worth your time. And yeah, I have good memories of Milan Arsenal. Not so much of Arsenal Milan, but uh, those were interesting matchups. If you want to see Messi go absolute berserk, watch the second leg of Barcelona Leverkusen. Um, the 11-12 season is what I consider peak Messi with horrible jerseys to boot. Um, in the quarterfinals, I th yeah, as Milan-Barcelona, where Milan twice played in their away jerseys that, that, that I liked, but I think it is really the semifinals where the competition lit up in many, many ways. Um, especially the Chelsea-Barcelona matchups. Um, the return leg there was full of drama. The Bayern Real Madrid, I think the first leg was a um, pretty good game. The second leg kind of died down relatively fast, but had a very famous penalty shootout where certain people were shot out of space, just saying. And then, of course, the final, which is one of the craziest finals you will ever see, and a final that only Bayern Munich can play at home in this case. So that is one. If you are inclined, it was. I don't think it was a great game because it was in most of the time very one-sided. But uh, there was enough drama in there 
to make it worth watching and almost want to make this the pick of the bunch it was not the greatest end-to-end -end action but i'm i want to make this the pick of the bunch because of all the drama that happened uh to in the in the towards the end of the game okay this was the 11 12th season the 12 13 season uh was also, as far as I remember, an interesting one had quite some contentious matchups in there as well. Uh, I am again looking at the group stage if there's anything that pops out immediately. Uh, just as a prelude to everything, you might watch the group stage games between Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid. Have in mind that in previous seasons Dortmund crashed out rather quickly out of the Champions League. This was the season where they kind of um, showed for the first time under Klopp we are a good team that has to, uh, ought to be reckoned with in Europe. So uh, those Dortmund Real Madrid matchups, both of them, I think are worth your time for sure. Um, what else do we have? I think that's basically the group stage. Let's look uh, in the round of 16. Uh, there is a Real Madrid Manchester United in there, but I don't remember these games being all that exciting. I think that Milan Barcelona, the first leg was exciting, the second leg, yeah, the first half was exciting, but then it was pretty clear where this was going. Um, what else can I say? Yeah, I think the most exciting game of that one, although uh, there's a second count, was, was the return leg in the quarterfinals between Dortmund and Malaga very contentious game but I, I remember that was one where you really thought oh yeah now Dortmund's breaking through and I think the whole PSG Barcelona match matchup both matches um, for once this awful Barcelona away jersey actually looked good at, in the game in Paris it looked horrible when they played against Milan that is a whole series I think those are two matches that you wanna watch Semifinals, watch Borussia Dortmund, Real Madrid. You can also watch the return leg because there's quite some interesting stuff in there. And I think the final was a pretty good one. Um, I not, was not so excited about the teams in there, but the 2013 final is definitely one of the better finals that you will see. And it has a dramatic conclusion. So maybe that's something you might want to consider. And then we are already... I think in the 13-14 season, which will make the last one for this uh, video, where, yeah, this was kind of a, a transition season, uh, especially since it seemed like the arc of Barcelona, especially the Barcelona, the Guardiola part was really coming to an end. So it seemed like the end of an era and always when did everything is wide open and the big question is can others scoop in. Uh, Bayern was one of those where you would think uh, that could do it. Also Real Madrid, where they had a certain Cristiano Ronaldo in there. Um, I think a big matchup in the group stage was Bayern Manchester City because this was the newly rich Manchester City. Um, Dortmund, uh, the, uh, the group F, that's a group where you probably can pretty pick out any game between Dortmund, Arsenal and Napoli. Uh, maybe you should watch all these games because it was absolutely nuts. This was probably the tightest group in Champions League history. That's one where between first place and third place the goal difference had to decide. Um, and then again, a group that I I was already back in Austria and Austria Vienna had qualified for the Champions League. And they were in Group G with Atletico, Zenit and Porto. And the next group, Group H, would have been perfect. Barcelona, Milan, Ajax. I mean, those were three of my favorite teams right there. I would have lived in Vienna. If they would have played there, I would have done everything to get those uh, tickets for those games. Uh, but I think the group in itself, I think the Milan Ajax games probably, um, there was at least some contention in there. Other than that, I think um, the group itself was not all that great. So again, we'll go to the knockout stage, the, Bar the, not Bar <laughs> the Champions League is best in the knockout stage, uh, as always. Um, but I think this knockout stage here, I'm looking the first round, there's nothing really exciting. There's a quarterfinal of Real Madrid Borussia Dortmund, which um, 
at halftime seemed like the it's done and dusted but yeah maybe you want to watch these uh real madrid dortmund and then dortmund real madrid um there's also a united a Bayern munich united uh return leg that could be interesting um but i think in the quarterfinals psg against chelsea this is a matchup that you want to look look at both legs uh lots of drama uh, I do remember with some fondness the Real Madrid Bayern Munich semifinals, to be honest. Um, although I have to say the first leg was really good, um, tight game. The second leg, um, yeah, got quickly out of, uh, out of whack, but it felt like the right thing at the moment. But also uh, a sleeper is the semifinal between Chelsea and Atletico Madrid. The final, I don't know if it was a great final. The, but it might be worth your time. Uh, yeah, I was surely drama in there, but I don't remember it as a great final. Well, these are my picks for games to watch during that uh, five year period. Le let me know if you have any other uh, mem memories, if you think any other games are worth watching um, in that time frame. Um, I think I picked out the ones that I remember as being great games, so yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video let me know below what do you think about my, my picks and yeah we'll do another one probably sometime next week to finish up between 14 15 and yeah 18 19 19 20 we still don't know what's gonna happen uh so yeah give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and i will talk to you soon bye Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos or playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.